Okay, now, as we're all aware, over the past few months, governments, organizations, and businesses across the world have been working tirelessly to minimize the negative effects of the recent pandemic and to protect people's health, but also to protect their livelihoods and their aspirations. Now, today at Trip.com, we join hands with many of our destination partners around the globe to launch our Travel On initiative, which promises to make your next trip the best trip yet. Now, we'd like to hear from some of our partners across the world how they've been helping us with our Travel On. Please take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, Hungary and the People's Republic of China are strategic partners. In the last decade, the collaboration between our countries has reached a higher level than ever before. We are very happy that in the last decade, the number of tourists coming from China to Hungary has increased by 500%. Perhaps I am biased, but I am sure we all can agree that Hungary is one of the most beautiful countries in Europe. Hungarians welcome Chinese tourists arriving to our country with open arms. The pandemic has had a negative impact on the Hungarian economy, including tourism as well. We are currently in the process of restarting our economy, and we would like to do so as quickly as possible. For this reason, we have implemented multiply different methods and have allocated significant financial resources to help the tourism industry. Therefore, I would like to, like to thank uh, the fast and efficient help that China has provided us in overcoming the pandemic. I'm certain that in a short period of time, we will be able to rebuild the touristic relations between our countries, which have been interrupted due to the pandemic. Thank you for your kind attention. Hello everyone. It was not a long time ago uh, when I was in China last time uh, in December when I visited also Sea Trip, and uh, we have talked about the bright future, how the cooperation of the two countries, uh, which is uh, running very well and uh, has many options for the future, how will that look like in the future? Uh, since then, however, something happened. The virus uh, stopped almost all these activities. Uh, so during the last uh, five months, we had uh, one target: China, Hungary, all of the world, uh, to to fight the virus and uh, reduce it to the level uh, where it will not impact our life. Uh, I would like um, to thank again for the support from China and I would like to say that Hungary is a safe country uh, and also a beautiful country. So you are uh, welcome to Hungary and we see each other hopefully very soon. Thank you. Tip.com group รัฐมนตรีว่าการกระทรวงการท่องเที่ยวและกีฬาในนามของรัฐบาลไทยผมรู้สึกเป็นเกียรติและยินดีเป็นอย่างยิ่งที่ได้มาพบกับทุกท่านในวันนี้จากสถานการณ์การแพร่ระบาดของโรคโควิด -19 มายังแถวไทยโดยตลอดผมจึงขอถือโอกาสนี้ส่งความปรารถนาดีอย่างจริงใจมายังทุกท่านและหวังเป็นอย่างยิ่งว่าหลังจากที่สถานการณ์การแพร่ระบาดของโรคโควิด -19 ยุติลงแล้วประเทศไทยจะมีโอกาสต้อนรับทุกท่านอีกครั้งการระบาดของโรคโควิด -19 อาจก่อให้เกิดวิกฤตมีความพร้อมจะต้อนรับทุกท่านให้ได้มาสัมผัสความงดงามทางธรรมชาติของประเทศไทยอีกครั้งผมและพี่น้องชาวไทยจะรอคอยให้ทุกท่านกลับมาเยือนเมืองไทยมาพักผ่อนเติมพลังณนะสถานที่ท่องเที่ยวที่ประเทศไทยมีความพร้อมทั้งมาตรการด้านความปลอดภัยและด้านสาธารณสุขผมหวังเป็นอย่างยิ่งว่าเราจะได้กลับมาร่วมแบ่งปันรอยยิ้มและความสุขด้วยกันในเมืองไทยในเร็ววันนี้แล้วพบกันนะครับไทยกัวใจเต๋งหนีประเทศไทยกำลังรอคอยท่านอยู่ครับ Mabuhay. I'm Bernadette Romulo Puyat, Secretary of the Philippine Department of Tourism. The world's travel industry has been through a most difficult time, as most people have had to stay home for their safety and health. Here in the Philippines, that means we've missed having fun with all of you. So we're counting the days when we can finally welcome you back on our shores. Until that time comes, 
stay safe, keep well, and dream about your next trip when you can wake up in the Philippines. Our 7,641 islands, blessed with some of the world's best beaches, lush natural scenery, delectable cuisine, and a people renowned for their hospitality and warmth, will be waiting to show you once more why everyone says it's more fun in the Philippines. Tatcha how? Let me introduce myself. My name is Nia Nishaya, and I'm the Deputy Minister for Marketing of the Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy of the Republic of Indonesia. There is an Indonesian proverb saying, Jauh di mata, dekat di hati, which means even though we are physically apart, but deep in our hearts, we are always together. Although this terrible pandemic forces us to be physically apart, on the other side, it actually reveals how much care we can show to each other by staying connected, although through online technology. With our signature warm smiles and hospitality, we are looking forward to welcoming you back in the world full wonders, wonderful Indonesia. Sisie. Hello, my dear friends. My name is Rita Marks, I'm Secretary of State for Tourism here in Portugal. As a global partner, Trip.com Group is very important for the tourism industry, and we need it to be strong to bring tourism across the world. We all had tough times in the last months, but the light at the end of the tunnel is now clear. This light in Portugal means sun, blue sky, blue sea, white sandy beaches, green landscape, and many more colors all around the country and all year round. Six centuries ago, Portugal brought cultures across the world together. And since then, our warm welcome to all visitors is in our DNA. Come and let us make you happy. Can't skip Portugal. Hello, I am Lorenza Bonacorsi, Under Secretary of State at the Italian Ministry for Cultural Heritage and Activities and for Tourism. Since the Roman Empire, Italy has welcomed travelers from all over the world. Italy and China this year celebrate the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations. Let us hope that very soon tourism ties between our two countries will start to grow again. Don't stop dreaming of your next trip to Italy. We are looking forward to receiving you. Dear travelers, my name is Istvan Uihei. I'm a Hungarian politician who is working in the European Parliament, serve as vice chair of the Transportation and Tourist Committee and special ambassador of the UN World Tourism Organization. Some years ago, when I initiated the EU-China Tourism Year, then we had big plans to support the eu china relations. And yes, we did it. But unfortunately, in January, the winter has arrived and uh, the last six months we had very very big dangerous time because the tourism closed eyes but no we are here and we have never lost our dreams let's do it again support the tourism and start again to put the tourism back on track hello ni hao uh, I'm Dominic Barton. I'm the Canadian ambassador to China. Thank you for listening. It's wonderful to speak with you. The, these last uh, few months have been very tough with COVID-19 around the world. I think in these uh, tough periods, tourism plays a very, very important role in connecting people. We're trying to be very disciplined about the opening up. It's going to start first with travel within provinces and then travel between provinces and then travel nationally and then internationally and to welcome you with our glowing hearts uh, to see the many different exciting parts of Canada, the landscapes, the food, uh, the culture, the entertainment. There are so many places we would love to have you come and visit. When you're dreaming of your next trip, I, I hope Canada is in your dreams because we can't wait for you to come and visit us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Keith Tan and I'm the Chief Executive of the Singapore Tourism Board. The last few months have been an extremely challenging time for all of us in the tourism trade. Singapore will gradually welcome visitors back 
as the situation improves. We are already beginning to restore our connectivity by welcoming transit passengers through Changi Airport and implementing green lane arrangements with selected countries and regions. We will expand these channels as the COVID-19 situation improves here and elsewhere around the world. And we look forward to welcoming you back to Singapore to enjoy our great food, our diverse and unique culture, our world-class attractions, and the great range of business and knowledge opportunities here in Singapore. No matter your interests, there is always something for everyone here in Singapore. In the meantime, please stay safe and healthy. And I look forward to meeting you here in Singapore sooner rather than later. Hello, I'm Assam Kalam, CEO of Dubai Tourism. As we navigate these challenging times, we felt that staying connected with our dear visitors is also very important. Tourism is a cornerstone of Dubai's economy and the current worldwide efforts that are being taken to minimize the risks posed by the pandemic make us confident that the travel and tourism industry will bounce back and people will start traveling once again. But we must let you know that even as we get ready to welcome you in Dubai, we have put in place the highest standards of safety and security at all stages of your travel to safeguard your health, which is and continues to be our number one priority. So when travel restarts, we trust that you will make a trip to Dubai. We will wait for you till we meet again. Hello, ni hao. I'm David Robinson, Interim President and CEO of Destination Canada. The past few months have been rapidly shifting and challenging for all of us. However, these times of uncertainty have made some things more clear. The warmth, kindness, and heart of Canadians has shone through more than ever. The importance of humanity and connection both within Canada and globally has never been more needed than today. And while health and safety continues to be our top priority, some Canadian regions are slowly starting to reopen to tourism. Although the exact timing and details continue to evolve, we know one thing for certain. When the time is right, Canada will be here to welcome you with glowing hearts. Thank you. Shea Shea. Hunan 私たちはコロナウイルス感染症のコントロールに日本で最も成功した地域です。山梨県から皆さんの新しい旅を始めましょう。中国の皆さん、大家好。大阪観光協議長の三坂博士です。大阪は中国の皆様を笑顔とおも
세계 여행 산업이 더욱 활력 넘치는 모습으로 되살아날 것을 확신합니다. 모두가 꿈꾸는 여행이 현실이 되어 다시 만나는 그날을 기대합니다. 여러분 한국에서 뵙겠습니다. 안녕하세요. 전 세계 여행자 여러분 반갑습니다. 저는 대한민국의 문화재청장 정재숙입니다. 전 세계에 퍼진 코로나19 사태를 극복하고 인류가 다시 문화 관광을 즐길 수 있는 그러한 과제를 이뤄나가는 것이 지금 우리 앞에 놓여 있습니다. 올해 문화재청은 대한민국에 켜켜이 쌓여있던 그러한 문화유산을 일곱 가지 길로 만들어서 여러분들을 다시 만날 그러한 준비를 하고 있습니다. K-POP, K-드라마, K-푸드에 이어서 우리 K-헤리티지를 여러분 앞에 이제 선보이려고 합니다. 어서 하루라도 이르게 세계 여행자 여러분들과 함께 우리의 문화유산을 즐길 날을 고대하겠습니다. 감사합니다. Hello, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Very nice to meet you. I'm a governor of k a n g w o n Province. Our province is famous for winter sports and Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. We hosted Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games two years ago. I hope great success of Beijing Winter Olympic Games. Our province is famous for potatoes. We produce potato much, so people call us potato. So my nickname is also potato. Next time when you meet me, please call me potato. Congratulations on your international travel revival campaign. I pay full respect to your initiative and I will be with you and I will do my best for global tourism revival. To fight the COVID-19, let's go together. Chi Xin Shiri Kong Tu Nan Guan. Thank you, Xie Xie. Hello, I'm Zhao Hui Li, Director of German National Tourism Board Beijing Office. We work to promote Germany as a travel destination on behalf of the German federal government. The coronavirus pandemic and the lockdown have caused the worst crisis in tourism worldwide we have ever experienced. For all of us, the past few months have been really challenging. However, we are so glad that as the borders start to reopen, it will be possible to travel again after all these months. We can't wait to show you our fascinating cities and landscapes to let you explore our rich history and to discover our cultural treasures. We are looking forward to seeing you soon. Welcome back to Germany. Hello, travelers. I am Ali s h e b a from the Department of Culture and Tourism, Abu Dhabi. As we look forward to welcoming you once again in our beautiful Emirate, I feel a sense of optimism and excitement for, for the future. If this period has proven anything, it is that true strength is found in adversity and that the toughest times teach us the most valuable lessons. I am proud to say that Abu Dhabi has shown exceptional strength and commitment to the safety of our community and our visitors. And we have been able to navigate these rough waters with positive outcomes. Today, we move forward with the same commitment as we plan to open our doors once again to the world. And when the time comes, Abu Dhabi will be waiting for you with open arms, providing you with the extraordinary experiences to create lasting memories for you and your loved ones. Keep dreaming of your next trip and see you in Abu Dhabi. The past few months, the COVID-19 pandemic has been reduced. The world has been reduced. The Chinese culture 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 has 贵州是文化之州、生态之州、美酒之州、歌舞之州，是天人合一、知行合一、身心合一之地。春天，鸟语花香，百花怒放，是我们最热烈的欢迎。夏天
贵州是避暑胜地，凉爽的气候是我们最好的礼物。秋天瓜果飘香，浓烈的乡愁是我们最深的思念。冬天贵州青山不老，美酒美食是我们最香的味道。贵州是放松心情的好地方，是户外运动厅堂。山川异域，风月同厅。来吧，到孤独星球推进的公营省，在这里你能找到朋友，获得重生。我在贵州等你。Uh, my name is Andrew Hogg. I'm the Executive General Manager of Asia and Aviation at Tourism Australia. The past few months have been challenging for all of us. But our efforts to support our industry partners across the world are unwavering. Trip.com is one of our most important partners, and we will keep engaging with our industry partners to provide them with support that they need to get through this difficult time. And we've recently launched a campaign with love from Australia. And this, in our content hub, we've been inviting consumers to tell us their Australian travel dreams and their great memories that they have of travelling through Australia. We hope, in this way, Tourism Australia could send some uplifting messages to the travellers and to the industry. Travel is what brings people together. We will join hands with Trip.com and our other trusted partners to stay close to the consumer and prepare for the revival of international travel. We can't wait to see you in Australia when it's safe to travel again. Dreaming of your next trip. See you in Odalea. I bring you warm greetings from Los Angeles, the city of angels. I'm Adam Burke, and I have the great privilege of serving as the interim chief executive officer of Los Angeles Tourism and Convention Board. There's no question that this year has brought unprecedented challenges for our industry and for our communities. In fact, I strongly believe that the resumption of international travel will be a source of great healing. As we move past the pandemic, especially during these difficult times, we are profoundly grateful for our strong relationship with Trip.com Group. While the pandemic has caused many of our normal activities to stop, it cannot keep us from dreaming. As an organization that believes strongly in the bonds between different cultures and people, we want to continue to convey the message. That everyone is welcome in Los Angeles. Dreaming of your next trip. See you in LA. 大家好 On behalf of the Tourism Authority of Thailand, I am honored and pleased to meet everyone today. Although this meeting will be conducted via online media, I have a sincere feeling and believe that the friendship in both our countries had not diminished in any way. First, I would like to say thank you to everyone who have given us the support and concern over Thailand. I would like to take this opportunity to send my sincere wishes to all our Chinese friends. I sincerely hope when the COVID-19 situation has end, Thailand will have the opportunity to welcome you all once again. I wait for you to come back to Thailand to travel in an atmosphere you are familiar with. To come. And relax again at our beautiful seaside destinations to enjoy the variety of Thai food along with the variety of fruit that you can be tasted throughout the year. I sincerely hope that we will be back together to share the smiles and happiness together in Thailand again soon. Greetings from Budapest. The Hungarian Tourism Board would be very glad to see you in Hungary or in Budapest in the coming weeks and months. Hungary has gone through very difficult times, like any other country in the recent months. But now time has come that finally we are able to think about tourism, friendship, and uh, travel around the world. We would be very happy to see you and show you around Hungary. We have many things to offer. We have beautiful wines, beautiful scenery, lakes, thermal spas. We would be very happy to see you in Hungary. And we really hope that you make a trip to Central Europe or to Budapest in the next few months. Dream of your next trip. See you in Hungary. Kia ora, tēnā tato katoa. I'm Jamie Tuta, Chairman of Tourism New Zealand Board. The past few months has been difficult for everyone. We miss sharing with visitors our beautiful place, the place we are privileged to call home, Aotearoa, New Zealand. 
I think I speak for many Kiwis when I say we are proud of how we open up our people and place to others and our care for them. It is the value of manaki we show. Values such as kaitiakitanga means protecting and caring for people in place. Manaki manuhiri means welcoming and looking after all visitors, and whanaungatanga means treating others like family. These values are embedded in the New Zealand way of life from our unique Māori culture. We know many people around the world also feel a special connection to our home, so we want to reassure them that we are taking care of it. When it is safe to do so, we look forward to sharing our place again with you. Dreaming of your next trip? See you in New Zealand. Bonjour, I'm Caroline Le Boucher, a Chief Executive Officer of Atout France, the France Tourism Development Agency. The last few months have been challenging for all of us, and we have missed sharing the unique charms and culture of our beautiful country with international visitors. Tourism is a key industry, but above all, it's what connects the world and brings us all together. When the time comes to travel again, we will be waiting for you and we are committed to ensuring the best sanitary measures during your stay in France. We are confident and believe that travel will make us stronger back and many more memorable vacations will be created. Till then, don't stop dreaming of your next trip. See you soon in France. A bientôt. Greetings, friends of Malaysia. In today's time of uncertainties, I'm sure many of us have to put our hearts for travelling into a hold. I would like to express my utmost gratitude to all frontliners for your bravery and sacrifices. The COVID-19 pandemic will not discourage us to tell people to dream and travel later when time permits. Through Malaysia Truly Asia brand, we want to promote Malaysia's authenticity and uniqueness for the global market with the main feature of our diversity in cultures, festival and traditions. In this digital age, we would like to show you Malaysia Truly Asia so that you can look forward to travel tomorrow. Malaysia welcomes you to experience its diversity and uniqueness once the pandemic is behind us. For now, continue to stay positive and look forward for your future travel to Malaysia. Stay safe and dream now. I'm Christian Stanicic, Director of Croatian National Tourist Board. The past few months have been challenging for all of us and we've missed sharing the unique charms of our beautiful country and culture with our dear visitor from every corner of the globe. Croatia is a country built on amazing history, full of culture, islands to discover, excellent food and wine and some of the most unique nature in Europe. Please enjoy the view from Croatia and keep us top of mind when planning your next trip. When the time comes to travel again, we'll be waiting for you and we can't wait to see you. Dreaming of your next trip, see you in Croatia. Hello and greetings from Finland. My name is Mervi Toivonen, Head of Global Sales Promotion Team at Visit Finland. The world particularly international travel has been on hold for quite some time now. This has shown how much we enjoy meeting people, discovering places and traveling. We really miss you! As you maybe already know, Finland has been selected as the world's happiest nation for three years in a row. Opportunities to tag on positivity and enjoying small things in our daily lives bring us through these challenging times. Take care of yourselves, your loved ones, and hope to see you soon on your next trip. Yisemen, Sien Semen, Tajahao, Ojao, Niall Gibbons, Chief Executive of Tourism Ireland. Greetings to all our friends in China, and greetings to all our friends in Trip. Thank you for all the great work that you've done over the years promoting our wonderful country. We look forward to welcoming all our Chinese friends back to Ireland when it's safe to travel again. In the meantime, we wish all our friends in trip every good wish. And when you're dreaming of your next trip, we'll see you in Ireland. Sissia. My name is Jos Franken. I'm the CEO of the Netherlands Board of Tourism and Conventions. Dear friends, Ni Hao. 
On behalf of NBTC, I would like to send you our warmest greetings from Holland. The corona crisis presents us all with huge challenges. Travel and tourism are among the most heavily affected industries in the world. But slowly and steadily, the world is opening up again. Hopefully, people can resume traveling soon, not just for its economic importance, but also because travel and tourism connect the world. It brings people together, enhancing cultural awareness and understanding. Like Confucius said, it's better to travel 10,000 miles than to read 10,000 books. So for now, please take care of yourselves and your dear ones. Stay safe and stay healthy. And hopefully we can welcome you back to the Netherlands soon so you can safely enjoy our beautiful country. So dreaming of your next trip, see you in Holland. Ni hao, trip.com travelers. I am Luis Arujo, president of the Portuguese National Tourism Authority. Our first thoughts are for all the people who were deeply affected by this pandemic. We hope they may recover quickly. This tragic event enabled Portugal to improve its health and safety precautions everywhere, from museums to hotels, from department stores to restaurants. Our ultimate goal is for tourists to feel they are in an utmost clean and safe environment wherever and anywhere they choose to go. But some things COVID-19 hasn't changed. The ability of the Portuguese people to welcome visitors from all over the world with a warm embrace and always with a smile. The beauty of our cultural heritage and our breathtaking landscapes. These are still the same and waiting for your visit as soon as it is possible. See you in, possible, in Portugal. Xie xie. Thank you. The world is now facing a global pandemic, unlike anything we've seen before. But as a nation, we have risen to the challenges. Sri Lanka has been highly successful in its efforts to control the spread of COVID-19 with zero community transmission for over four weeks. And it has proven that the country is not just the world's number one travel destination, but also a destination with excellent healthcare system. I would like to reassure you that Sri Lanka tourism has put in place the highest standard of healthcare and safety guidelines to welcome travelers from across the world to our sunny shores once more. So come, stay a while, catch a breath before you journey on. Hello Trip.com friends. My name is Laura Citron and I'm Chief Executive of London and Partners. My job is to welcome tourists from all over the world to London, the capital of the United Kingdom. The last few months have been difficult for us. We're used to a city that is full and buzzing with people from all over the world, enjoying our cafes, restaurants, markets, shopping, galleries, museums and shows. But we're confident that with the fantastic steps being taken all over the world to control COVID-19, will be open for visitors soon. And I'm really looking forward to welcoming our friends from China to come and take your holidays in London and discover everything that we have to offer. So if you're dreaming of your next trip, we'll welcome you here in London. Greetings to you from Scotland. My name is Ivan McKee and I'm the Scottish Government Minister for Trade, Investment and Innovation. We would like to extend our warmest regards to you in China during these challenging times. We want to be able to share our beautiful country with you, but only when it's safe to do so. We join nations around the world wishing for a safe global recovery so that we might once again explore each other's beautiful lands and unique and vibrant cultures. Scotland's a country rich in heritage, culture and natural beauty, but it is also a nation that's innovative, inclusive and outward looking. And when the time is right, our people and our businesses will be here waiting to welcome you. Dreaming of your next trip? See you in Scotland. I'm 
，是中国南方古人类的发源地。那么您来到柳州，我们将在北里柳江、北里画廊的柳江河畔欢迎您，请您体验二十八万株紫荆花在柳州绽放一片粉红色的海洋。那么柳州呢，还拥有全国最早的苗族和侗族自治县。那么我们将用。少数民族最盛大的节日盛宴——中国卢生斗马节和中国侗族多元节来欢迎您。那么，在欢迎您到我们美丽的城阳八寨，中国最美的少数民族村寨，和用最盛大的欢迎侗族北家宴来欢迎您体验柳州的少数民族风情。风情柳州，欢迎您的到来。谢谢。Dear travelers, I'm Bei Qi Wei. Vice President of Passenger Development from Singapore Changi Airport Group. Changi Airport has stood in solidarity with our travel partners as we battle against the COVID-19 pandemic. Thankfully, all over the world, we are seeing some signs of recovery. Changi Airport served many of you during your past travels. You might have visited some of our iconic attractions, such as our Butterfly Garden, the world's first in an airport. And taken pictures with the majestic rain vortex at Jewel Changi Airport. When the travel restrictions are lifted, we hope to once again welcome you through the doors of Changi Airport. We are continuing our efforts in ensuring that the Changi experience will be kept at a level that you are accustomed to when you return. With our airport-wide enhanced safety precautions, you can shop, dine, and play with peace of mind. As we take care of your health and well-being, dreaming of your next trip. See you very soon in Changi Airport and Jewel. I'm Wilfred Wong. Sands Resorts Macau is a leading integrated resort, providing world-class experiences for business, leisure travelers, and families. Our properties include the iconic Venetian Macau, Parisian Macau, and the soon-to-come London Macau, and the Grand Suite at Four Seasons. The largest all-suite Four Seasons hotel in the world. Here you may discover the global taste from over 150 restaurants, top international entertainment, including the new immersive and interactive attraction, the Team Lab Macau, duty-free shopping with approximately 850 retailers with a huge range of name brands. Meanwhile, we will continue to do whatever it takes. To ensure the safety of every guest while staying with us, we look forward to welcoming you. Embark on your next wonderful trip. See you in Macau. Hello, I'm Akira Yonezawa, President of Japan Airlines Great China. We look forward to seeing you on board in the near future. Dream of your next trip. See you in Japan. We all are going through very challenging times, but I'm sure that the travel industry is definitely going to rebound from this difficult time. Although the landscape of travel has changed, well-being of our guests remains our highest priority. Dreaming of your next trip, we are waiting for you. Okura Nikko Hotels warmly welcome all of you to enjoy our Japanese hospitality very soon. 世界の皆様、こんにちは。私は日本の旅館ホテル組合の青年部の部長を務めております、鈴木春彦と申します。When you ready to travel, we will be here for you. 皆様のお越しをお待ちしております。I'm Mark Ai, the promotion and sales director of Hoshino Resort. We are operating 40 hotels, 旅館 and ski resort and a fifth brand in Japan, Asia and Hawaii. The coronavirus disease is causing a lot of trouble around the world, and we are all forced to face many challenges. Xinye Jitian will join with Xie Cheng to open the travel industry's new app. Dreaming of your next trip, we are waiting for you. Hello, I am Germano Rollero, Etihad Airways General Manager for China, Japan, and Korea. We all can't wait to meet our friends, family, colleagues. And we, as an international airline, can wait to help people connecting, sharing, working together, and having fun. In fact, we recently announced that effective June the 10th, we will connect 20 cities between Europe, 
Australia and Asia via the hub Abu Dhabi. We will do so bearing the responsibility of your safety through our new program Etihad Wellness, which will include aircraft deep cleaning, culinary safety and L screening for all passengers. The sky will greet you again in wellness. Hi everyone, I'm Ian Hang, Chief Marketing Officer of Vinpearl, Vietnam's largest hospitality group. We own and operate 33 hotels and resorts, several theme parks, safari and golf courses, located at the most stunning beaches and vibrant cities across the country. For the past month, COVID-19 pandemic has affected our business in an unprecedented way. But Vietnam has successfully contained it, and I'm confident that many other countries will recover soon. I hope you and your family stay safe and sound. Keep dreaming and see you soon at Vinpearl, the holiday paradise of Vietnam.